Hey guys, welcome to this uh, VHF UHF channel. So this is far from being the best place, but I temporary because it was really really to just put up temporarily to see where it goes and I'm kind of uh, happy right now. So I will be making some changes. So I this what you see here is the uh, K180WLA a magnetic loop antenna. It's a wideband antenna that I've been using and if you've seen I've received some satellites with it. Um, so gives you an idea of how it actually works. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, I do get some shortwave here also, which is also a good thing. Um, so I put it here very temporarily. It's at the bottom of my weather station. This is a wireless weather station. And I, um, I used the uh, bottom part to uh, put the loop. It's not the best position because the rail of my balcony here is actually a metal rail so because the loop is so close to the rail here it could actually change some of its properties so if I enjoy if I like the way that it works actually what I was thinking is I will simply uh, double the height of my weather station and at the same time that will make the loop higher and hopefully perform even better than it is but um, yeah, I'm kind of impressed. For the VHF side of things, it is a decent performer. It's extremely directional. So if you're looking for something that might need, you know, if, if you want to get those weaker signals that, that only a directional antenna can get, this one is extremely directional. Like this, for example, I'm receiving both the weather stations from Bromont, Quebec, and the weather station from uh, uh, Burlington, Vermont, the NOAA weather station. But if I would turn it 90 degrees, uh, both stations are actually nulled out. I don't even receive them anymore, or, or they are extremely weak. So it gives you an idea of how directional this is all uh, working. But uh, working great, and uh, I'm kind of happy to uh, test it out. And I'm happy also because, you know, I'm going to use it. So uh, this is nice. And uh, so what I did is I actually used the coax that uh so of course it's you have the little wire that goes in my home but it is attached to my coax that i was using for the sloper and i'm using that as the um the feed line that goes up to the rspdx inside so uh, of course i'll be posting more videos and more little tests of this uh, for sure and uh, give you my opinion of what i think of the k180 wla this week once again kind of uh, an updated review if you want uh, here it will be for the VHF range of course if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching